So I'm looking here at the map of your journey. So we know that you started in, in the Russian tundra. Uh, you flew over 7,000 kilometers by paramotor. You crossed Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Germany, Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium, and France. And then you crossed the English Channel, becoming the first woman to successfully do so by paramotor in the process, and finished uh, in the UK. Um, for those who don't really know, and I count myself as one of them, what exactly is a paramotor? How does this work? How how far do people routinely fly on paramotors? And uh, and how do you how do you secure safety, security, all of these different things? Because as you pointed out, you're flying over vast tundra landscapes full of polar bears and, and hunters and all these things. How does that work? Yeah, so ba basically, it's a it's a paraglider wing, um, which just uh, is normally used for flying with thermals and with um, updrafts, for example, along a cliff face, and then a, a big fan on your back. So yeah, it's a it's a propeller that you can put on as a backpack, and on the ground you can just you stand there, get the wing up into the air if there's a little bit of breeze or run if there isn't, and then once the wing is above your head and you're slightly moving. You, um, you get the propeller going and that will actually lift you up in the air. And as you run and take off and the wing starts to lift, it basically scoops your legs from underneath you. So, yeah, that's, that's it. It's simply hanging. Somebody once described it in a, in a slide, which is basically it was a photoshopped picture of a little girl sitting on a swing um, but dangling like 500 metres up. Um, that's, that's, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's, exactly. that's, that's certainly what it feels like the first few flights. A swing with added jeopardy. I'm looking at some yes. footage here of you of you flying this paramotor, and it's really quite remarkable. I mean, I've been paragliding a couple of times, and you go up and you stay in the air for 15, 20 minutes, and it's all very leisurely. And here you are flying over cliff faces, tundra landscapes, forests, all these things. You flew over 7,000 kilometers. How far do people routinely fly in paramotors? Much shorter journeys, I would imagine. Or generally, most people take off from a field, fly around, and will land within half an hour. That's generally that's generally <laughs> what most people do with paramotors. And before this flight, the longest flight I had done actually was it was a series. Actually, I did fly around the southwest, um, sort of Slimbridge down to Cornwall and back again. But that is the longest I had ever flown. How many hours? Quite a few by that time because I would, was flying quite a lot for aerial photography by that time. So in the year beforehand, I'd, I'd racked up a few hours, but I'm not going to even try and um, try and, and come up with a, with a figure exactly. 